How's it going guys? Tactics HD here bringing a quick video talking about the huge trade that happened last night in the NHL. That trade involving Buffalo Sabres and the New York Islanders. Buffalo sending Thomas Vanek, their captain, over to New York in exchange for Matt Molson, a first round pick in 2014 and a second round pick in 2015. So at a quick look guys, obviously I think that Buffalo won this deal big time and I'm going to basically explain to you guys why I think this is. So if we take a quick look at the standings guys, we can see that uh, New York Islanders are right now battling for a playoff spot. 11 points in 11 games, you know. Right now they're just on the cusp of that playoff spot and they want to kind of repeat what they did last year, make the playoffs for back-to-back -back years, and it'd probably be the first time in a while that they do that, uh, making the playoffs in consecutive years. I honestly can't even remember the last time they did that. And um, obviously, Buffalo, the bomb of the East, I think the bomb of the NHL, five points in 13 games. They're kind of already in sell mode, even though we're already in late, late October here. So, it kind of explains why these two teams made this deal. They're pretty bold moves on both parts, but anyway, guys, when we look at a closer look at this deal, um, Matt Molson compared to Dom Thomas Vanek, one-to-one. -one. I think Thomas Vanek is probably like an A-minus player, you know, one of the better players players in the NHL, but not a superstar, more of like a a good player, but you know, nothing crazy. And then Matt Molson is probably like a B, maybe a B plus player. Obviously he gets a lot of uh support from his center there and John Tavares, one of the best players in the game. I think personally probably a top five player in the game right now. Just amazing really what he does for New York Islanders but um, after comparing them one to one guys obviously we think Tom Thomas Vanek's probably a little bit better skill wise uh, you know not drastically better but definitely better and then when we look at their age they're both 29 so they're both at the kind of like I, I wouldn't say prime but you know end prime of their career they're going to start kind of you know, the next two or three years, probably after the next two or three years, probably when we start to see a bit of a decline. Obviously, it's different for all players. Pavel Datsuk's like 33 or whatever. He's still just crushing it. But you know what I'm saying, guys. Uh, next, guys, we have to look at their contracts. Uh, Thomas Vanek's getting a little over $7 million a year. Matt Molson's getting a little over three, So $4 million more for Vanek. So basically, you could have two Matt Molsons and an extra million dollars for the price of Vanek if you want to look at it that way. And I think that's one of the reasons Buffalo really wanted Molson. Obviously, he's got the cheap contract. And if they're looking to keep him around, they can re-sign him uh, you know, for probably four to $4.5 million range. Obviously, they also have the option of trading him at the trade deadline, which a lot of people think they'll do. Uh, tr players' trade value at the trade deadline skyrockets. You guys remember a couple years years ago, Paul Augusto got traded for a first round pick, so Matt Molson I think is worth at least a first round pick at this year's trade deadline, and if they can get even a first round pick, obviously I think they could probably get a first and a high level prospect, um, that's just going to basically double the, the return they got on Vanek, so if they say do that, they'd be getting two first, a second, and a high level prospect for Vanek, which I think is just an amazing return, and if they decide to keep Molson, you know, they have a good player with uh, to keep with the team, not too expensive, but he'll definitely produce, and you might be able to t help this rebuilding team, whatever they decide really is good for them, and on the flip side guys, looking at the Islanders. Thomas Vanek is making more than John Tavares, which I think a little bit crazy, but I mean, Tom, Tom, John Tavares basically uh, was was basically uh, just the nicest guy in the world when he signed that five and a half million dollar a year uh, deal with the Islanders for I think six six or seven years, and uh, basically saved them a lot of money because he definitely deserves to be making in the range of eight, around the same as Claude Giroux, and. Uh, uh, Thomas Vanek's contract also expires at the end of this year, so it's going to be really interesting to see if he resigns with them or not. If he chooses not to resign, it's kind of a slap in the face because, you know, Islanders showed that they liked him and they gave up all this to get him, and if he decides to leave, I kind of really feel bad for the Islanders fans. But also, guys, if he does decide to stay, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what price he stays at because uh, Thomas Vanek's making a little over 7 right now, and I think, you know, a reasonable price for him is somewhere between 6 and 6.5, and but that's on the open market. If the Islanders want to re-sign him, I think they're probably going to say something like, we're paying John Tavares 5.5, you're not as good as John Tavares, so we'll give you 5. And then Vanek's going to say something like, I can easily get 7 in free agency, so I, I don't know how those uh, contract negotiations are going to go down. So I think if Vanek walks, this, this deal is even worse for the Islanders. But if they are able to keep him, even if they pay him more than Tavares, which is kind of weird, but if they are able to keep him, I think it's a decent deal for them. But still, I think I give the outright win to Buffalo. Also, guys, I decided to simulate this uh, trade in EA, uh, sorry, EA Sports NHL, just to kind of see what would happen. So I did it obviously from one team to the other. So first, guys, we have Buffalo trading Thomas Vanek to the New York Islanders for Matt Molson, uh, the 2014 first round pick and the 2015 second round pick uh, seeing what the New York Islanders would say to our trade proposal and <coughs> sorry guys and they actually are interested in Thomas Vanek so you know, they should uh, be somewhat interested in the deal. The trade value, I think, Thomas Vanek actually got a little bit higher than Molson the first and second combined. But as you guys can see, they actually did say no. Uh, they weren't interested in the deal, and they didn't think it was fair value. But then on the other side, guys, I decided to play as the New York Islanders and offer Matt Molson a first-round pick in 2014 and a second-round pick in 2015 for Thomas Vanek to the Buffalo Sabres. And Buffalo ends up doing this deal. So it kind of shows that just, you know, obviously EA's law isn't law, but uh, it kind of just shows you that uh, it's kind of supporting the fact that I think Buffalo won this deal. As well, guys, uh, in case anyone's wondering, 
recording. This was on a hard trade difficulty, so it is authentic. It should uh, be the right answer. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Those are my thoughts on this trade. So just in conclusion, guys, I think Buffalo won this deal. Uh, if both players go to new teams at the end of this year, Buffalo still wins the deal. If both players resign, Buffalo still wins the deal. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, in the comments, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you. Also, guys, let me know if you'd like to see more, uh, you know, real NHL uh, videos like this one, just reviewing uh, things happening in the NHL. Probably won't see another big deal like this until the trade deadline, but uh, until that time, you know, if anything else, you know, really, uh, I guess, opinionated happens, I'll try to give my thoughts on it. Besides that, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for NHL 14 videos. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please have a like. Also, guys, a new Calgary Flames GMO video went up a couple days ago. If you want to check that out, a link will be in the outro. And besides that, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. Goodbye. It's the kind of beat the goat.